This fall promises to be unlike any other in the history of our university. A global pandemic has gripped our community and forced us to drastically change the way that we teach, learn, and work. An economic downturn has left many struggling. It has not been lost on us that these dueling crises have left a disproportionate impact on low-income communities, people of color, and other marginalized populations. This, along with the continued killings of black and African-American people, has fueled a national conversation around the injustices and systemic racism that so affect many Americans. This reckoning has spurred much needed reflection within the FAU community. Peace, justice, and human rights and diversity are two of the platforms of the university's strategic plan and are critical to achieving institutional goals. I am very proud of the recognition FAU has received for its diversity and commitment to student success. But in order to truly live these values, we must actively pursue educational equity and racial justice. Over the past two months, we have hosted conversations with faculty, staff, and student leaders to determine how we can best create an inclusive and equitable university environment. We know there is still work to be done, and I am personally committed to ensuring that the work continues. Some of the immediate initiatives include implementing explicit anti-racism and implicit bias training for faculty, staff, and students. Reviewing policies and practices and barriers that negatively impact marginalized populations. Evaluating the inclusivity of our general education curriculum. Expanding programs, services, and resources within the Center for Ideas, which stands for inclusion, diversity, education, and advocacy, including an office focused on supporting black and African American students. And ensuring that our campuses visually reflect the diversity of our student body by redesigning prominent spaces beginning with the diversity way on the Boca Raton campus. These actions are necessary in order for us to live up to our commitment to diversity and do our part in moving the needle of racial justice forward. As we return to our campuses and adapt to the new normal, we need to do our part to keep our communities safe. Protect Your Owl Family is the theme of our health and safety plan, and it's vital that all students, faculty, and staff take individual responsibility to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. And FAU will continue to provide a high-quality educational experience for our students. Yes, much of the instruction will be fully remote, but it is important to note that remote learning now will be quite different from the remote learning from this past spring when we were forced to transition quickly. Remote classes for the fall semester were created by faculty who are trained in online course development, as well as full-time instructional designers. Additionally, the Keep Learning and Keep Teaching websites offer a number of resources to assist students and faculty. For students living or studying on campus, all resources continue to be available, even if they're slightly different for a while. I encourage you to engage with your advisors access our library services, and participate in campus rec activities. Visit the newly renovated student union and meet new people. Just remember to make good decisions. Smart actions will protect you and our OWL family and South Florida communities in which we all have a stake. I also wanted to offer a sincere thank you to the essential workers who maintained the university operations during the past few months and prepared our campuses for the fall semester. FAU never officially closed, so it was imperative that many essential staff be on campus throughout the summer to care for our students and facilities. I know that our entire university community really appreciates the efforts of those individuals. In spite of the challenges we continue to face, I want to take the opportunity to highlight some of the great things going on here at FAU. We've reached the halfway mark in our 10-year strategic plan, and while five years ago I never would have predicted that we would be in the midst of a nationwide health and financial crisis, I am incredibly proud of how the OWLs have responded. 
Researchers in our College of Engineering and Computer Science made national news with their findings about how far coughs can travel and which type of face mask is the most effective in preventing the spread of germs. Our School of Architecture, A.D. Henderson and FAU High Schools, and Institute for Sensing and Smart Systems all made face shields and other PPEs to help protect your local health care workers. FAU nurses handed out masks to homeless in our community. And FAU's nationally ranked hospitality and tourism management program offered a free certificate to more than 77,000 people from more than 140 countries, many of whom lost their hospitality jobs due to the pandemic. These efforts embody the true spirit of community engagement that we value so much here at FAU. Community engagement is another one of the platforms highlighted in our strategic plan, and earlier this year, FAU received the coveted Carnegie Community Engagement Classification. This designation reaffirms the importance of our education and outreach programs in enhancing our students' learning experiences while promoting development and prosperity within the communities we serve. Another platform I'm especially proud of is undergraduate research and inquiry. FAU has become one of the top universities in the nation for undergraduate research, with opportunities for undergraduates in all majors to engage in groundbreaking research alongside some of the most impressive faculty mentors in the world. Overall, the Division of Research had made a tremendous impact on the university. Total research expenditures have more than doubled over the past five years. And since the inception of our strategic plan, our research pillars, iHealth, iSense, the Brain Institute, and FAU Harbor Branch brought in $76 million in new research awards. Those funds have contributed to the growth of the FAU budget, which is now more than $881 million, up from $751 million just five years ago. An impressive amount of external funding also contributed to that growth. In spite of the pandemic, more than 9,900 generous donors gave more than $33 million to the FAU Foundation during the fiscal year 2019 to 2020. Additionally, FAU continues to receive millions of dollars from the state of Florida to support our infrastructure and operational growth. This can be attributed to our strong academic performance, improved student success rates, and the local legislators who tirelessly advocate on our behalf. The 2021 budget includes the remaining funding necessary to begin construction on the FAU Neuroscience Building in Jupiter, as well as a new building for the A.D. Henderson at FAU High School here on the Boca campus. In addition to the Neuroscience Building, we plan to build a new residence hall in Jupiter to accommodate the growing number of students who want to live on the campus. In Boca Raton, we're building a new residence hall next to the Student Union, which is being expanded to include an eSports arena, additional dining options, and more. We also recently completed the Schmidt Family Complex for Academic and Athletic Excellence, adjacent to the FAU Stadium. It is now home to the College of Business's nationally ranked Executive Education Programs, which is also the fastest growing program at FAU. I'm very proud of the world-class learning opportunities FAU Executive Education offers working professionals in our community. I'm also extremely proud of the success of FAU Athletics. Last season, our football team won its second conference title and second bowl game in just three years, and I look forward to the program's future success under new head coach Willie Taggart. Additionally, FAU baseball, women's soccer, and softball teams won two conference titles in the past four years. As we continue to build a reputation for athletic excellence, we expect to attract even more outstanding students to FAU who want to be a part of the overall culture of success here. We've already seen the benefit of these efforts as more students are applying to FAU and our student body is becoming more competitive. In spite of the pandemic, we saw a 28% increase in applications to join our incoming freshman class, and an all-time high number of National Merit Scholars will be enrolled at FAU this year. I'm especially excited to welcome the 3,100 members of the class of 2024 to FAU, and I look forward to seeing our new OWLs on campus soon. 
The future is bright for FAU, and I am confident that working together, we will further enhance our reputation for academic excellence and reach our goal of being ranked among the top 100 public universities by U.S. News and World Report. I appreciate the important role you are playing in university's success, and I am glad you're part of the team as we continue the race to excellence. Welcome back, and go Owls!